I've spent the last three months making over a thousand contacts so that I can tell you all about this antenna. This is the Chameleon PRV or Portable Resonant Vertical System and it is probably the most comprehensive vertical antenna kit that I have found. This is not so much of a review, but a tutorial on the PRV system, its capabilities, and how to use it. I'll tell you my experiences and what I don't, what I like and don't like about it. But for the most part, I'm going to give you an outline of the practical aspects of this antenna system. Chameleon did send me uh, one of their PRV kits for consideration, and my comments and experience with this are my own without any outside influence. The core component of the PRV or Portable Resonant Vertical Kit is the multi-configuration coil. The PRV is a base-loaded antenna and the multi-configuration coil, when paired with an appropriate sized whip, allows you to achieve resonant match on any frequency between 6 and 80 meters. The coil is constructed out of anodized aluminum outer body, a Delron center with stainless steel, and silver clad copper wires. At first glance, you will say that uh, the Chameleon is a knockoff of the Wolf River coil, but I believe it is more appropriate to compare the PRV kit and the multi-configuration coil to the Super Antenna MP1. The MCC is a more robust and robust uh, version of the MP1 and the addition of being manufactured in the USA. The coil itself is fairly lightweight, uh, just weighing in under 16 ounces and fully collapsed. Uh, this is 12 and a half inches long. At the base of the coil is a 3 8 by a 24 fine thread male thread adapter, or male thread for attaching it to a base. Uh, there's an SO239 or UHF a female connector, and also a thumb screw for um, locking the um, outer, outer body uh, to the coil after you've made an adjustment. At the top of the MCC is a 3 8 by 24 th fine thread female receptacle uh, for a whip. The choice of the whip you use will determine the frequency range of the coil. Chameleon sells the PRV kit in three different packages. The MCC coil by itself, a, the Soda or Summits on the Air lightweight kit, and the Poda or Parks on the Air heavy kit. Let's look at each kit and what components they come with. The Soda or Summits on the Air lightweight kit consists of everything you would need for a portable operation. In the kit you receive the MCC or multi-configuration coil, the 58 inch stainless whip, the Chameleon spike mount, the puck hub for attaching radials, four 12 foot 6 inch radials with banana plugs uh, wound on plastic winders, four steel stakes for the radials, the 34 foot radial on the integrated winder, the tripod adapter with the 1 quarter inch female thread on one end and a 3 8 inch fine thread on the other end, and 12 feet of coax with the integrated choke. The POTA or Parks on the Air Heavy Kit contains all of the soda kit items plus the addition of two more pieces, the UCM or universal clamp mount and a set of two 12 inch extension rods for center loading the coil. Let's see what these extension rods look like in action. So this is the uh, Chameleon uh, PRV, the portable resonant vertical antenna, uh, aluminum housing, if you um, pull this up, uh, coil inside, uh, this plastic part is Delrin, uh, SO239 uh, connector. I'll set it there on my bird seed. Um, the next item, uh, this is the Chameleon uh, carbon fiber tripod. This is brand new. And um, they sent that along as, as part of the bundle too. Um, legs, just sort of uh, screw and unscrew there. Uh, we can. Uh, pull this to get the legs to go out, and I think I'm going to set it up like so. Uh, this tripod has, I can't get it off here, uh, this is this, this nut here, it's got a quarter inch uh, screw on one side and a three eighths um, screw on the other side so we can attach the uh, coil to it. I'm going to do something a little bit different this time. Uh, these guys here, these are um, extension rods. 
so that you can, um, instead of bottom loading the coil, uh, you can center load it. And uh, it comes with the kit, with the full kit. I thought we would put these in place and, uh, and see how they do. So we're just going to do a quick um, assembly. The PRV Poda Heavy Kit also includes two 12-inch rods. These extension rods can be combined to create a modified center loaded antenna. I say modified center load as the feed point is still at the base of the coil and not at the bottom of the antenna. But raising the coil 24 inches in this manner does seem to help, especially on the higher bands. It's a stubby whip. <laughs> there. That looks nice. Assembling your PRV or portable resonant vertical antenna is pretty straightforward. If you have any experience with other base loaded antennas, uh, you'll find this quite familiar. First off is the base or antenna support. The PRV kit comes with a ground spike that you can push into the ground to support the antenna. If you're working with soft earth, this stainless steel spike with the coil uh, will support up to the 17 foot whip. But if you're like me and it's winter, or if you're operating on hard earth or durable surface like asphalt or concrete, the spike is not going to work. Uh, the POTA Heavy Kit solves this problem with the UCM or universal clamp mount that can be attached to anything with a lip, like a picnic table, barbecue grill, etc. The coil and the whip can then be uh, deployed from that mount. For my testing, I preferred to use their new uh, carbon fiber tripod. This is a lightweight portable tripod with extendable and adjustable legs. Uh, you can splay the legs out and it will easily support the, um, the coil um, and the 58 inch whip. Uh, it will also support the 17 foot whip as long as it is not windy. If there's anything brisker than a gentle breeze, you're gonna run the risk of the tripod tipping over. You know, sandbags or other weights on the legs will probably help prevent that. Uh, this tripod has a 3 8 by a 16 coarse thread and a quarter and a one quarter inch uh, male thread. These are standard tripod threads and the PRV also comes with a one quarter inch to a 3 8 inch a fine thread or 24 uh, thread adapter. Uh, you can use that adapter with uh, to mount uh, the Chameleon PRV uh, to the Chameleon tripod or any other tripod that you wish to use. Tuning or finding a good match on your PRV can be easy or it can be a challenge. It all depends on how you approach the process. I've had situations where the SWR on my vertical antennas drops down to almost nothing and other times it was a total bear and I couldn't get lower than two to one. I'm going to tell you right now, it's not you and often it's the location or ground conditions the antenna is on. This means that if you're going to run with base loaded vertical antennas, you just need to accept that sometimes you're not going to get perfect SWR and really anything less than two to one is quite okay. Fortunately, Chameleon with the PRV 
offers a fair amount of guidance in their user guide on how to get a good match on the various bands. In the manual, Chameleon has a chart that can help as a tuning aid for the PRV. It gives suggested coil heights and ground radio placement for each amateur radio band. These are suggestions or a starting point as ground conditions can vary from place to place. But if you don't have an antenna analyzer, this will give you a starting point. To tune the antenna, first adjust the coil. For the 15 meter band, we'll use 1.7 centimeters. This should get you close to 2 to 1 SWR. You may need to adjust a click up or a click down depending on conditions. Once you get below 2 to 1 SWR, you're fine. If you can't get below 2 to 1, then try removing one or more of the radio wires. This almost always drops the SWR below 2 to 1. The process is the same for the other bands. Measure the coil, take a test reading, and disconnect a radial if need be. There are a lot of ways that you can deploy the Chameleon's uh, multi uh, configuration coil, the MCC. I think one of the most uh, interesting methods though is mounting this on a tripod, a high tripod, and using an elevated radio with their uh, radio winder. key to effectively tuning this is to first uh, fully extend the wire winder uh, to, its, to its maximum and then get the SWR down to about close to 2 to 1 as you can. Once you do that, then you can bring the wire in until, you be, until the entire system comes into resonance. Once you get the wire extended or contracted it's until it's at its at its minimum you can go back and tweak the coil a little bit to get it down to probably to the lowest it'll go uh, in this regards I got it down to about oh 1.3 1.4 to 1 which is that's that's pretty good so what are my experiences with the Chameleon PRV or Portable Resonant Vertical Antenna? I'm going to say that I am very impressed. Honestly, this isn't a one-off review of the antenna, but instead, uh, my opinions after using it for a full month and making over a thousand contacts with it, these are some things that I like and some that I don't like. First off, construction is top-notch. This antenna is made in the USA. It shows with its quality components. Uh, the multi-configuration coil is well built. It is designed to handle up to, 15, uh, up to 500 watts single sideband, 200 watts digital modes. I find that the construction of the coil and the whip would support those claims. Uh, the documentation is excellent. It goes into great detail on how to tune and adjust the antenna, which is outstanding. Uh, the system is extensible. Uh, you can use it with the 58 inch whip, but I believe it really shines when you combine it with either the uh, 9 foot mill whip or the 17 foot stainless collapsible whip. The 34 foot uh, wire winder radial is innovative, but I think it is also the weakest part of the package. The problem I have with the wire winder radial is its weight. When you suspend it on a line uh, from the elevated tripod or another support, you're going to either need a substantial tripod or you're going to have to guy everything down as the weight of the winder on the line will pull the whole thing over. Since the ground was frozen uh, during my test period, I really wasn't able to guy anything, so I struggled with deploying uh, the elevated radial system. But the elevated radio system also seemed to offer the best performance overall, so the effort to put it up was really worth it. Properly deployed, I found it easy to get a match with the elevated radial, as it wasn't subject to the vagaries of ground conditions. But like I said, what I really like about the kit is that it is extensible. You can add additional radials for better ground performance. I found a 
that to be a real benefit for the 20 and the 40 meter bands. You can use it with the Magic Carpet. I had a difficult time getting a good match uh, with the Faraday cloth and the 58 inch whip, but the ground screen worked great with the longer whips. And speaking of longer whips, I think the PRV is at its best when you use the 17 foot stainless or the nine foot mill whips. I had no problems putting out great signals. QRP, only five watts of power with the longer whips. So there you have it, the Chameleon Portable Resident Vertical Antenna System, based around the MCC or multi-configuration coil. I hope you found this informative. If you have any questions or comments about the PRV, please leave them down below. I'll answer them as I'm able to. I'll also post a bunch of bonus material and footage from some of the activities for my patrons. Becoming a member over at patreon.com slash kb9vbr antennas will unlock that content for you. But that's it for now. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching 73 and have a great day.